and intelligence. Hello everyone, and welcome to Tormonger.com's Theory Crafting 101 video. My name is Endorn, and I'll be your host for this tutorial. So let's go ahead and dive in. Now, basic MMO theory craft can be broken down into one simple formula. Output is equal to the effect of buffs, debuffs, and talents on your ability's base damage plus your character's bonus damage multiplied by the ability's coefficient. If your head just exploded, don't worry. We're going to break all this down and make it simple and easy to follow. So let's go ahead and get started with base damage. Now looking at the grav round ability for the trooper, you can see that it deals between 1580 and 1590 damage. To find its base damage, you add the minimum damage from the tooltip with the maximum damage and divide by 2. For grav round, this means 1580 plus 1590 divided by 2, which makes our base damage 1585. Easy enough, right? Let's move on to the plus damage coefficient. Now first I want to take a look at the word coefficient. It sounds like a fancy math term, and it is, but it really just means multiplier. When you think of something getting a 10% bonus or a 5% penalty, a coefficient is just the mathematical way to show that. For our theory crafting needs, the coefficient represents how bonuses to character damage affect a particular ability. Now how do we determine the coefficient? Well that's the magic trick that can't happen until we actually get into the game and do some number crunching. Needless to say, many Bothan spreadsheets will need to die to bring us that information. For the purposes of this tutorial, however, we're going to use Warcraft's coefficient formula, which is cast time divided by 3.5. So taking another look at Gravround, we see our cast time is 2.5, which means Gravround's coefficient would be 2.5 divided by 3.5, or 0.714. Now let's switch to the plus damage. Here we see character stats for a level 32 Vanguard taken from the Penny Arcade Expo play session. It's important not to get hung up in the actual numbers here, as this is all likely changed in beta by now. The Vanguard has three main stats, Aim, Endurance, and Cunning. As you can see, the Vanguard's two highest stats are Endurance and Cunning. Since Endurance sounds more like a tanking stat, it's a fairly safe bet that Cunning is the stat that affects DPS. At the bottom, it lists plus 25 bonus range damage. We can speculate that 545 Cunning is equal to plus 25 damage. Again, I have to reiterate that this is all merely speculation, and the numbers have surely changed by now. At any rate, we have what we came for. Our plus damage is 25. So now let's plug these numbers in. Plus damage of 25 times the coefficient of 0.714 gives us a number of 17.85. So going back to our original formula, output is equal to the effect of buffs, debuffs, and talents on your ability's base damage, plus your character's bonus damage multiplied by the ability's coefficient. In the case of grav round, using the information gathered earlier, we can see that the average grav round from the level 32 PAX Vanguard will deal 1602.85 damage. Well that's it for our first Theory Crafting 101 guide, I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions or you want to join the Tor Theory Crafting community, visit our forums at www.tormonger.com.